I love all the authors I've ever worked with, but one of my favorite is Dora Levy Mosanen. She's the author of Harem. And she, uh, we met at a writing conference and we connected and she found her agent at that conference and submitted her manuscript to me as Simon and & Schuster. And I, her writing is wonderful, but she needed to establish that she had a platform before I could feel confident enough to present it at Edward at Simon & Schuster. So I asked her to get some blurbs from some writer friends that she had, including a best-selling novelist that she worked with. Um, as well as to get um, specific feedback from people in the literary community where she lived who had offered help in the past. Like for instance, she knew the owner of Dutton's, which is a fabulous independent bookstore, near where she lived, and they said they would do anything to help promote her book. And she knew the head librarian at the largest library in her community, and they said they would do anything they could to help promote her book, that kind of thing. So when the time came for me to present it at Edward, I had this pile of letters on letterhead from the head of the local library, from the head of this independent bookstore, from the head of her local synagogue, because synagogues are a great way to sell certain kinds of books, and as well as three blurbs from three different writers. So when I came into Edward, I walked in and I had this fabulous manuscript from Dora, and I said, this novel is like the Red Tent meets Memoirs of a Geisha. And everybody went, oh my goodness, that's fabulous, we must read this. Um, and I went on to hold up one by one each of the letters on letterhead from these various people who, would, who promised in writing that they would do whatever they could to help support Harem and Dora, the author. At that point, my boss immediately turned to her boss and said, we're going to buy this book. I want you to give Marcella this amount of money to buy it, and we're going to do it as a trade paperback original. And her boss had no choice but to say yes, which is ideally what an editor wants to happen in, in an Edward situation.